When you get a bill for expenses in the mail, you can write a check right away and be done with it. But if your vendors don't expect payment immediately, you can enter a bill in QuickBooks and pay it later. If you purchased services or products for a customer or job, you can flag what you bought as billable to that customer or job. You also tell the program the payment terms the vendor requests, so QuickBooks knows when the bill is due and if there's a discount if you pay early. QuickBooks has two commands for entering bills. One is for inventory you buy. The other is for other bills you receive, like rent or the telephone bill. This movie shows you how to enter a bill for things other than inventory. To create a bill, on the home page, click Enter Bills. In the Enter Bills window, in the vendor drop-down list, choose the vendor who sent the bill. In this case, GC Supplies. QuickBooks fills in the vendor box with the vendor's name and address from the vendor's record. The Enter Bills window includes a panel on the right that shows the balance and transactions for the vendor. In this case, there are none. QuickBooks also fills in the date with today's date and the terms box with the terms from the vendor's record. In this case, the vendor doesn't have terms yet, so I can fill them in. If the terms include a discount for early payment, QuickBooks fills in the discount date with that date, but for Net30, there's no discount for early payment. If you want to record the vendor's invoice number or another ID for the bill, type it in the ref number box. You can type the bill amount in the amount due box, However, it's easier if you leave it blank. The program calculates the amount due as you fill in the expenses and items. If the amount due matches your printed bill, you know you entered everything correctly. The Enter Bills window has two tabs. The Expenses tab is for services you purchase from a vendor. For example, painting services you get from a subcontractor, your telephone bill, or insurance. The Items tab is for non-inventory products you purchase. On the Expenses tab, in the first account cell, choose the expense account for tracking what you bought. In this case, Office Supplies. In the Amount cell, type the amount the vendor charged. If the expense isn't billable to a customer, that's all you have to do. You can add another expense on the next line. In this case, I'll add another expense for repairs. If the expense is billable to a customer, fill in the memo cell with the description of the expense. QuickBooks uses the text from the memo cell to fill in the billable expenses description on an invoice. For billable expenses, choose the customer or job in the customer job cell. QuickBooks automatically turns on the billable checkbox. If the bill includes charges for non-inventory items you purchase, click the Items tab. In the first item cell, choose the item you bought. In this case, Paint. QuickBooks fills in the description from the item description. In the Quantity cell, type how many you bought. If necessary, fill in the cost. QuickBooks calculates the amount. In this case, since I changed a value, QuickBooks asks if I want to save that change to the item record. Click Yes to update the record with the new cost. Click No to use the changed value, but leave the item record as it is. If you're ordering the product specifically for a customer or job, choose that in the Customer Job drop-down list, and QuickBooks turns on the billable checkbox for you. You can fill in additional lines with more products if you want. If the total in the table doesn't match the bill amount due, you can click Recalculate. QuickBooks will remove any unassigned amounts in the table or adjust the amount due. When you're done, click Save and New to save the bill and create another one, or click Save and Close to save the bill and close the dialog box. In this case, since I also changed the terms, QuickBooks wants to know if I want to change those in the GC Supplies Vendor Record, and in this case, I will click Yes. After you enter bills, QuickBooks keeps track of when they're due. At that time, you can write a check to pay them, as you'll learn in a later movie.